<laughs> Let me come back to that one. Hey guys, Lexi here, and I'm in my hotel room. Hunter is already at the field, and as you can see, this video is gonna go a little bit differently than normal. A lot of you guys have been sharing your life story with me, which I absolutely love. So I thought it was only fair that I would share a lot about my life with you guys. I've taken a lot of the frequently asked questions and thought that I would make a raw, intimate video with you guys answering a lot of these questions. Uh, First one is, why pineapples? I wish there was some deeper meaning, some cool story as to why I picked a pineapple, but there really isn't. So when I was creating the Let's Get Lexi brand, I just wanted something that would be fun and kind of funny and make you feel good. And I was like, well, what makes me feel good? What's something that represents feeling good? What's something that represents fun and just lightheartedness? For some reason, I don't know how, but a pineapple just appeared and I was like, this is it. Just looking at a pineapple for some reason just makes me feel good. Now you throw a pair of sunglasses on it and man, oh man, and you got me kind of giggling inside. If you could clear one thought out of your mind forever, what would it be? That I'm not good enough? Telling yourself that, or me telling myself that, I really limit myself to what I can achieve. I want to achieve more, I want to grow more, and I think by telling myself that, I really hold myself back. I need to stop telling myself that, and tell myself that I am good enough, and that I need to allow for more good things to happen to me in my life. My biggest fear is, I have a lot of fears actually, but I think the biggest is losing Hunter. Us being together and him dying or something is probably my biggest fear. When you have someone like Hunter or someone like your best friend, your soulmate, your everything with you, you feel like you can get through a lot more traumatic things in life. It's your best friend, it's your, your sounding board, your person, and the thought of losing them I mean, guys, I'm tearing up now, so that's my biggest fear. That was embarrassing moment would have to be... I gotta come back to that one. My most embarrassing moment. Biggest lesson you learned from a mistake you made. Um, biggest lesson I've learned was the relationship with myself is the most important relationship I'll ever have. There was a time in my life where I didn't know kind of who I was or, or what I wanted, and I think it's easy to become influenced by other people. I wasn't doing what made me happy, I was doing things that made other people happy. Being your most authentic self is probably the biggest thing I've learned. I try to practice that every day. It's less work that way. I think I have so many that I probably black them out. We're always so positive. That's funny because I don't always feel positive. I guess living with Hunter, you know, you would think you're a positive person, but living with Hunter, you know, I'm like, man, I could be more positive. I do a lot of self-reflection. probably do too much over analyzing, but I'm all about trying to figure out how to always feel good, whether that means me going to go work out or journaling or writing things down that I'm grateful for, not dwelling on whatever negativity is happening at the current moment and just shifting my energy and my thought process to the things that do make me feel good. I have so much be grateful for and I am grateful for. Where the mind goes, energy flows. So if I can concentrate on all the good things in my life, my energy will constantly be going there. If you care so deeply about others, how do you open up so easily to others and show them your true self? I don't always open up to everyone. I have to feel a certain vibe from you. More importantly, what's important for me is finding that connection with someone. Like, what level can we relate on? You know, oh man, my sibling's annoying me, or oh man, I just pooped my pants. Even if they feel differently about everything else, like being able to relate in that common ground, I think is so awesome and so beautiful. That's when I know I can open up to this person because they see me as an equal, and I think we're all equal. I wanna love everyone the same. Yeah, I do deeply care about others because I think life is more fun when you care about everyone. Even if it's someone that you don't really like and you share them love, I think you can change your perspective on them. I haven't mastered that yet, but uh, I do deeply care for people when, when I do become friends with them because life is more fun with people. I have a lot of embarrassing moments. Some that I probably should never share on the internet. <laughs> Maybe once we're in person I'll say it, but not to be documented all the time. I used to work for a stylist. Gosh, I was cleaning out a celebrity's 
closet and it was summer and I just got these cool new jeans and I bent over to pick up a bag of clothes because we were cleaning out her closet and my pants just ripped down the seam and so I had to just tie something around my waist in the celebrity's house with ripped pants literally just totally down the butt crack and keep working. What's more important, being optimistic or realistic? That's an excellent question. Um, I think being optimistic because being optimistic makes you feel good. And like I said before, feeling good is the most important thing. And I think being a realist kind of limits yourself. If you're a realist, like that's fine too. Whatever works for you and it's working for you, like keep doing it. Like who am I to tell you that it's wrong? But for me, I think being an optimistic, having hope, and looking at things from a more positive perspective helps take away my limitations of my mind and therefore I hope I can have a limitless belief in creation in life. If you were given a microphone and given a minute to say anything on the field before a Giants game, what would you say to the crowd? Follow me, yeah, let's get it. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know, like thank you. Thank you for supporting Hunter. Thank you for supporting the team. Play ball. Nothing too exciting. I don't think I can do what Hunter does and speak in front of 40,000 people like that. I can talk to the camera all day, have you guys watch it later, but public speaking to me is like, holy cow. I don't know how he does it and he does it so naturally. That truly is a gift. Where were you five years ago physically and mentally? Oof, five years ago. Man, I was living at home with my parents, trying to figure out what exactly I wanted to do with my life. <laughs> Just five years ago, wow, that's a crazy concept. I was trying to start a production company. Um, I was making short films, internet, YouTube videos, staying with my mom and dad and trying to make it work. I was also working as an assistant to a stylist. I would schlep clothes to and from like celebrities' houses and um, I would do a lot of grunt work. And, um, that's okay, and I would take all that money and put it into short films, producing them and finding actors and writing good scripts and, you know, whatever equipment we needed. If I could go back and tell myself something, it would just be to calm down and appreciate living with your parents to this age. Appreciate where you're at because I was exactly where I needed to be to be where I am now, which is a cool thing to think about. Do you think you'll have kids? Uh... That's a loaded question. Yeah, I think I will. The idea of birth and having, like, holding a baby kind of freaks me out. But I think I'll have kids. More than anything, I'll be curious to see what kind of kid Hunter and I have. If he could be known for one thing, what would it be? Same thing the pineapple is known for. Kindness, friendship, and hospitality. Do you miss IGN? I do. I do. More than anything, I miss the people at IGN. I miss going into the office and getting to bond with them or seeing what prank that they did. But. Going back there doesn't necessarily mean, you know, it'll be the same thing because nothing is ever the same when you go back, but I do miss them and I know a lot of them have gone on to other things, uh, like the kind of funny guys. That's more satisfying seeing them succeed on their own than it is to be able to go back and relive a memory with them. <laughs> well guys, I hope that answers the majority of your questions. I'd love to hear from you guys if you guys want me to do more videos like this answering your questions. Um, I love chatting with you and I love hearing from you. So if you guys like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Show me that you guys like the channel and let me know in the comments below if there are any questions that you guys have for me because I'd love to answer them. All right guys, I'll see you in the chat. Bye. Would you rather fight a hundred duck-sized horses or one horse-sized duck? I'd rather fight a hundred duck-sized horses because then I could just take like a bat or something and just go across. But hopefully I wouldn't have to fight anything.